How's it going everyone, Jacob here. Today I'm gonna to show you the Ravel Piano from Universal Audio. There are a lot of great sounding piano VSTs out there, but this one is really something. UA has used their industry leading physical modeling tech to capture the sound of a Steinway Model B and it is beautiful. But before I get started, I want to let you know that for the first time ever, this is really cool, these plugins will work in any major DAW with any audio interface and it's available to purchase individually. This goes for a whole collection of UA plugins which includes mixing and mastering tools, virtual instruments, and more. So if you want to check those out, click the link in the description below. I have had an issue getting ready for this video and had the same issue the last time I did something on this piano is I get lost in it. I just keep playing because the sound of each note, the samples they've created, the modeling, it just makes you want to keep playing because it sounds like a Steinway and Steinway is my favorite piano to play, especially as a jazzer at heart and as a classical musician playing a lot of that stuff and everything in between, honestly, rock, R&B, it all sounds good on here. but. It's the expressiveness, it's the quality of the sampling that was done to capture the sound. It's truly a beautiful sounding plugin, and when you hear it, I know that you'll agree. Let's take a quick tour of the plugin. You have volume, tone from bright to dark, dynamics, which acts a bit like a velocity curve going from hard to soft, or you have kind of a middle ground linear setting, which would be 12 o'clock here. I've kind of been putting it a little bit off to the left there. It just fits my playing a little bit better. Reverse mix and length, which is quite interesting. I'm going to start, let me play a little bit here just so you can get the sound of it. <laughs> just that little bit. Whew. It sounds great. But if I do the reverse mix all the way up, check it out. It reverses it automatically. Isn't that a cool feature? That was long. That is so cool. So thinking maybe not in the jazz classical realm, but more in the R&B or EDM production world, that's a very useful tool and a cool thing to have right away. That reverse piano sound, something we hear a lot in production, especially modern production. And look, it's right there built into the plugin. That's amazing. Down here, you have the mics, which starts a very cool feature within the plugin, which is you actually get to see the Ravel piano there in a studio with the mic set up. And as you go to close and then go to room, the piano will dim and the mics light up a little more. That's what room, here's close, room. I usually put it somewhere in the middle because you know, usually when you're in a studio recording an acoustic piano, you want to balance between the room and the close mic so that you get that really clean piano tone, but you're also getting the sound of the space as well. And they've captured it beautifully in this plugin to give you the same kind of control to slide from close to room. Now, something you might notice, those extreme ranges sound so good. And that's something that I think shows the true colors of a piano, whether it's on a digital piano or a VST like this. Those are hard to capture really well. And if you just listen to the lower octave, Listen to that low A. <laughs> I 
<laughs> improvising my best Ravel, I guess. Um, but the expressiveness, wow, it's it's just something else. Uh, oh, let's listen to the higher octave. So let's go up. Put it on close so we can really hear it well. Again, expressive, the quality is amazing. Let's check out the rest of the settings, which you open here. Tuning, of course it's set at 440, but you can change that. Pedal noise volume, it's at low right now. I can put it on full. You might be able to hear this. That's the pedal volume, so. adding a little realism there. Silent note velocity, key noise, volume, so you can change, again, a lot of that mechanical noise that you would get from something like the pedal or the keys. Polyphony, this is important. So I'll admit this instrument, because of its quality, because of the size of the samples for every note, all the things you're hearing, it does take some CPU to use, and that's because it sounds so great, and I love that, but if you want it to be a little bit more friendly to how much it's demanding of your computer, you can change it from large, medium, to eco. Default is medium. That's worked fine for me at 256 samples in the DAW setting in Bitwig, but you could go down to eco and it would just take a little bit more off your computer. But what I've certainly done is for playing larger classical pieces, you want it on large. You want that polyphony to be at its highest level so you're getting every sustained note. If you hold down the sustain and go all the way up as high as you can, you're gonna hear every single one of those notes sustain and continue to sound. Continuous pedal setting, if you have that, that you wanna use. And highest dynamic, which you can either have to full or limit. That's another thing that allows you to restrict the dynamic or expressive potential of the instrument. I'm gonna get it to a setting that I normally like to have it at, which is a little bit brighter for the controller that I'm using, dynamics a little less there. And I'll riff on a little jazz tune for you. Take a listen. That was a little taste of jazz, but of course I can put it to close. I could do something with a little bit more of a rock or an R&B kind of feel. That sounds great too. That'll work. I mean, you could put that on an album. It'll convince everybody. One final test to really show you what this piano can do. I'm going to play you an excerpt of Scarbo from Gaspar de la Nuit by Maurice Ravel. What better than for the Ravel piano? Now, this is a very challenging piece of music for any pianist to play. It uses the entire range of the instrument. It's very dynamic from loud to soft. Lots of moving notes, very quick. It also has a lot of huge sustained chords where you're sounding many, many notes at once holding them over with the sustain pedal. Now, obviously, this would be easy for an acoustic instrument, but 
in a VST, how can it do that? Well, the Ravel piano does it very well. So when you're listening to the excerpt of this piece, really listen. Listen for the dynamics, the sound quality, how great the range sounds from the low to the high, how fast and technical this piece is, but it's all coming through accurately. And listen for the string resonance, the sympathetic resonance, which is a feature of a acoustic instrument and something that's hard to capture in this form. But again, the Ravel piano does it well. You will hear it, especially in those big sustained chords with all those notes sounding at once. So enjoy. And that's the Ravel Piano from Universal Audio. If you've got any questions, put those in the comments below. Remember to like, subscribe, click here for more videos like this, and go to Sweetwater.com for all of your music instrument and pro audio needs.